When Ford Mustang lovers were getting excited about the breathtaking Ford 2024 Mustang called the Dark Horse that Ford rolled out this summer, all their excitement seemed to have vanished into thin air since Ford recently announced that a Cobra King was coming. And what's this Cobra King? The Ford 2025 Mustang GTD, aptly called the Cobra, is billed for sale in late 2024 or early 2025 at the latest. Now, Ford lovers need clarification about whether to still go for the 2024 Mustang or wait a little longer for the 2025 Mustang GTD to hit the market. And if you are one of those confused Ford lovers, wait till you hear the full specs of this coming Cobra by watching this video to the end. You'll ask for a refund from your car dealer if you have already paid for the Ford 2024 Mustang after learning all that the eagerly anticipated GTD has to offer in this video. It was inside a metal storage garage hidden behind a wind tunnel building in Allen Park, Michigan, that a handful of engineers gathered in 2021 for a new after-hours mission that, on paper, felt like an impossible dream to design a Mustang to take on the best of European sports cars. The all-new 2025 Ford Mustang GTD, a technological tour de force, inspired by the Mustang GT3 slated to race in Le Mans next year. Ford is targeting a sub-7-minute lap time at the Nürburgring. This feat would put the GTD on par with European supercars, including the Porsche 911 GT2 RS, the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ and the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series. The new Ford Mustang GTD is a carbon fiber bodied, aerodynamically optimized, track ready technological tour de force that takes the crown as the firm's most powerful road car yet. It will be built in limited numbers from late next year and priced from around $300,000 in the US. Ford CEO Jim Farley said the Mustang GTD shatters every preconceived notion of a supercar. This is a new approach for us. We didn't engineer a road car for the track. We created a race car for the road. The Mustang GTD design is a pure masterclass. Every line drives unrelenting, aerodynamic performance on the streets and the tracks for a corner obliterating pulse raising experience. The GTD has a wide body. The track is four inches wider than the Mustang GTs. As for aerodynamics, it has an aggressive front splitter, vented hood and fenders, and a huge active rear wing mounted to the C-pillars. Most GT3 cars mount their rear wing on the rear deck lid, but Ford put it on the pillar to increase stiffness over the rear axle so the downforce is over the rear suspension. There is a small hatch for a trunk, but don't go around expecting cargo room in the trunk. That is where the rear suspension, a hydraulic control system, and a transaxle cooling system are located. The rear suspension is a pushrod rocker arm placed horizontally in a cross pattern with a strong, stiff, lightweight tubular subframe. This race-focused setup allows the Mustang GTD to have super precise and responsive motion damping. Ford hasn't confirmed the car's curb weight, but there's a large dose of carbon fiber to keep it as low as reasonably possible. The blue oval and Multimatic use the material to craft the hood, front splitter, fenders, door sills, the cover that replaces the trunk lid, the rear diffuser, and the roof. Optional carbon fiber front and rear fascias will be available. The doors, however, remain made from steel. Ford also plans to offer an aero package that includes a carbon fiber underbody tray, as well as some technology that would be illegal in racing, such as hydraulically controlled front flaps to manage airflow for aerodynamic balance in coordination with the active rear wing. The Mustang GTD also features a wide stance with extensive use of carbon fiber body panels to reduce weight, lower the center of gravity, and improve responsiveness. All these modifications are to maximize the GTD's performance and style. The aero package is lifted nearly wholesale from the GT3 Racer with a massive hydraulically adjustable rear wing, a vented bonnet, chunky air scoops, a beefy front splitter, and a wind-cheating rear diffuser, boosting downforce at speed and stability through bends. Inside, the GTD is closer to the standard Mustang than the race car retaining digital displays and the standard infotainment system with over-the-air software update functionality. Notably though, the rear seats have been removed in the name of weight shaving. The front seats are swapped for track-ready Recaro buckets, and the rotary dial, build plaque, and paddle shifters are all 3D printed using titanium recovered from retired F-22 fighter jet. A targeted output of more than 800 horsepower from the supercharged V8 makes the GTD the most powerful Mustang yet created 
outpunching even 2019 snarling 700 horsepower Shelby G500. It's even more powerful than the 1.4 million pounds track only four GTM K4 revealed last year. The bespoke 5.2 liter engine is larger than that fitted to the standard road going Mustang and packs a suite of motorsport derived modifications including dry sump lubrication, dual air inlets, and a titanium active valve exhaust system, which generates exceptional notes. A carbon fiber prop shaft takes the drive directly from the back of the engine to a rear transaxle gearbox. The material reduces weight overall, but also reflects that because it takes the drive directly from the engine rather than a gearbox. It spins at speeds over 7,500 rounds per minute. The steering is rack and pinion, and a hefty anti-roll bar runs across the front of the V8. The eight-speed dual-clutch gearbox and rear suspension are mounted on a tubular steel frame in a more race-like setup, with horizontal inboard coilover units hooked up to the rear, integral link double wishbone suspension by pushrods and rocker arms. Like the front coilover units, the rears are based on SV technology and are linked to the front. They are also fitted with two coil springs each. Thanks to the rear-mounted transaxle, weight distribution is 50% front and 50% rear, and there's a variable traction control system the driver can adjust without moving their hands from the wheel. The GTD has a track that's nearly 100 mm wider than that of the standard Mustang which, together with massive 325 mm wide front tires, wider than the rear tires of the GT Boost Scrip, and cornering stability substantially. Stopping power is from Brembo brakes with carbon ceramic discs, all around engineered to resist fade under repeated loads. With its adaptive suspension damping and adjustable traction control, the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD is also an improvement on the GT3 race car, Farley says. His comments were backed up by American Joey Hand and Brit Harry Tinknell, the two racing drivers who will drive the car next year in famous sports car races such as IMSA's season opening Rolex 24 at Daytona in January and Le Mans in June and who helped develop both the race and road cars. Ford's idea was to take the race car and keep the same for the street, to beat GT3 competitors like Porsche, Mercedes AMG and Aston Martin at Le Mans and on the road, Farley says. In classic brash Farley fashion, he went so far as to issue a challenge via a quote attributed to him in the official press materials for the Mustang GTD, this is our company, we're throwing down the gauntlet and saying come and get it, we're comfortable putting everybody else on notice. I'll take track time in a Mustang GTD against any other auto boss in their best road car. Engineered to go like a rocket, extensive use of carbon fiber in the body first-of-its-kind suspension that adjusts spring rate and ride height settings for track or street conditions, active aerodynamics, supercharged V8 with unique dry sump oil system, and carbon ceramic brakes combined it. Create an agile, ultra-high performance. The Mustang GTD is the most audacious and advanced Mustang ever, a limited-edition street legal performance car designed on purpose to take on the world's best performance cars, both on the road and the tracks. Every precision part of the Mustang GTD is purposefully designed. It is designed to do one thing, go faster around a track with more technology than the race cars it's based on. It's built to be the quickest road-going Mustang ever. You still need to be convinced to ask your car dealer for a refund for your 2024 Ford Dark Horse. Then think again, because the sophisticated techno daredevil as Ford CEO Jim Farley calls the 2025 Mustang GTD will blast onto the scene soon with more than 800 horsepower with its V8 output that will sweep your poor Ford 2024 dart. Horse with its 5.0 liter Coyote that generates a miserly 500 horsepower off the road. Thank you for watching till the end of the video. I hope you found some fascinating facts and values in this video. Stay tuned for additional videos on automobile updates and features.